It's week 17 and it's the end of the regular season. It's the start of the coaching carousel through the league and it's time to focus on the playoffs. But for this episode of NFL Game Recap, it's most importantly the NFL North title game, people. Without further ado, let's send it to Title Town to break it all down for you, start to finish. We start off early in the first quarter with a fake punt. Adam Thielen goes streaking down the sidelines for the first down and then some. Several Packers get down there and take down Thielen at the 20. Great momentum shifter for the Vikings as they end up getting a field goal out of it. But on the next drive for the Packers, it was Eddie Lacy who would get on track as he burst in between the tackles for 11 yards. He would then convert a fourth and one with extra efforts to reach over the marker. Great play by the hardworking Lacy. Now after a Mason Crosby field goal tied it all up, the Vikes tried to get a red zone touchdown before half until Clay Matthews wrapped around the line and leapt on to Bridgewater and took him down. Matthews off the ball speed got him around Matt Khalil's kick set, allowing him to chase down Teddy and pounce for his prey. Clay gets his sixth sack of the year and boy, it was a flashy one. Following drive and Rodgers flings it out to Devontae Adams who sheds tackles and dashes his way for a big game. No points out of it though as it's 6-3 at half. Vikings on the goal line in the third and run a counter design. Adrian Peters just grinds his way over the goal line for the touchdown. First score of the game goes to Minnesota. Next drive for the Vikings results in a Bridgewater pick. Electrifying play by Micah Hyde on his third interception this season. Mike Neal provided the pressure, making Bridgewater throw it up, letting Hyde come up with the miraculous backhanded catch. Reeling the ball into both arms, giving the Packers a huge spark in a top 10 play for SportsCenter. Take that, Odell Beckham. Only a few plays later, when Rodgers winds back in the pocket and has the ball slapped out of his hand. Some confusion on the field, but Captain Munderland scoops it up and rolls down the sideline and all the way into the end zone for the score. Everson Griffin got around Josh Sitton, who had moved from guard to tackle to replace the injured David Bakhtiari, and was able to club the football out of Rodgers' hand for the enormous game-changing touchdown. Now down 20-3, the Packers start getting in a groove, starting with Rodgers floating it over Terrence Newman and into the arms of James Jones. Later, it's Rodgers moving around the pocket, creating time, and eventually finding Richard Rodgers crossing across the field, and he throws his body inside the pylons, and he is in to cut the Packers' deficit to 10. Later, after a Crosby field goal to get within seven, Cordero Patterson takes off the kickoff return and breaks off for a huge return, now crossing midfield, trying to find an angle, and he, he loses it. Micah Hyde falls on it and is the Packers' ball. What a crazy play. It was Mason Crosby laying out and stripping Patterson, saving the Packers from an enormous hit. Just unbelievable. Now the Pack have hope, and Rodgers hurls it downfield to a wide open Jones. He and his hoodie are taken down at about the 20, and just like that, they are in the red zone. Second down when Rodgers flicks it to John Kuhn on the late screen, and Kuhn finds room and dives over a defender to get inside the 10 yard line. But on fourth and goal with a four man rush, Rodgers misreads James Jones and throws it right into the chest of Xavier Rhodes. Tough luck for the Packers. It's desperation time now with time running out, and Rodgers gets the snap, pressured, steps up into the pocket, and he heaves it for the Hail Mary, and it's batted down. The miracle in Motown can't repeat itself. With this tough loss at Lambeau, the Green Bay Packers fall to the Minnesota Vikings, crowning the Vikings as 2015 NFC North champs. Ah oh, yes, the Packers fall. But wait, this might sound crazy, but is that really a bad thing? As I mentioned in my last video, the Packers entered this game with a very interesting scenario in their hands. If they were to win this game, they'd be facing the red-hot Seattle Seahawks in Green Bay. This is the same team that just clobbered the Arizona Cardinals in Glendale 36-6, only a week after the green and gold got creamed 38-8 in an ugly fashion against the same team. But now that the Pack lost, they faced off against the less intimidating Washington Redskins in DC, coming out of the putrid NFC East and led by Captain Kirk Cousins. Could this mean an easier road to the divisional round? 
I'd say not perhaps, not most likely, not probably, but certainly. The Packers go into the playoffs on a two-game loss streak, and they've just been stinking up the joint. We'll see if they can get back on track in a big way against the Skins. But in this matchup, it was the Vikings outlasting the Packers' late efforts to claim the NFC North title, the number three spot in the NFC playoffs, and a wild card game versus the Seahawks. Good luck with that, Vikes. For Quench Sports, this is Nick Walters, signing out. Quench off.